From Minute Maid Park in Houston, two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Houston Astros. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now. And now the veteran third baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. And now it's one and two. And a foul ball. On the ground. Pena handles the chance. Slings it across. One up, one down. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Second. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and ball. the count is one two and two. Ah. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two down. Two that outs, base is empty. Here comes hitter. Aaron Judge. Aaron. Judge. Two and one on Judge. Off the plate, and a count is three and one. For Judge, he's really developed into more than just a power hitter. He covers the plate well, shows impressive awareness of the strike zone to boot. That's critical, very important. If you want to be one of the best to ever play, it can't be all about hitting home runs. You have to have plank discipline as well. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Bottom of the first at the plate, Jose Altuve. And a 1-1. That one ripped. Back there. Gone! Jose Altuve will touch them all. His first homer of the year, and they jump out front. It's 1-0. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. Looking for his first big league hit right here. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The punch out there, and there's one away. Here's Kyle Tucker. The right field. Kyle. Swings and misses. That is strike two. The wind of the pitch. And there's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. That one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next pitch is outside. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now two gone. Now it's Alex Bregman. The third baseman, Alex Bregman. Next one misses. Ball two. And he deals. Swings and misses. And the count's even at two. Next offering is foul back. That one misses in the dirt. Payoff pitch. And he gets Bregman. That is the inning. Top of the second. Now it's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. The 1 1. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. Two. 
Next offering is down low. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The wide to kick the pitch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Aaron Hicks at the plate. The center fielder. Yeah, the right hander deals. That misses the zone. Two and one. And here it comes. And fouled off. And the pitch. Right side. It's in and out of his glove. He decides to hold on to it, and the defense comes away with nothing. One gone runner at first. Here's Jose Trevino. Jose Trevino. Next pitch downstairs. Two and one. At the belt and fires. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. 3-1 now. Swings through that one for strike two. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. The pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Marwin Gonzalez up to hit here. The count two and one. Just missed. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And a base hit on a line. And they hold the runner at third, but the bases are loaded now with one out. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Yeah, Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking. And these days, you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. You can drive a ball like that. More often than not, you're picking up a knock. And a ball and two strikes. Little chopper rolls foul. Next offering is fouled back. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Got him! Huge strike out there. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. The pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Two two now, and a swing and a miss. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back here in Houston, and it's a lead miss Diaz. And now the lefty on the ground to third. Lemayhew gets it to first. One up, one down. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. The first baseman, Yuli S.T. Gurriel. 1-1 one, one now. Foul ball there. You know, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. In the dirt, and it's two and two. And the pitch. Just off the outside edge, and it's three and two. And down on strikes goes Guriel. Two down. Here's Mauricio Dubon. Mauricio. Duval. Next offering is fouled back. Kicks and deals. Next offering misses down and away. A wind and a pitch. Stays alive. The 2 2. Good eye right there. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat.
Three two now. Slice to right and that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Man that feels so good when you can win a battle like that. that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know hitters they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field and it doesn't always translate into the game but right. There. Dives but it kicks off his glove. No throw a tough play and now there are runners at first and second. First and second two down. Here's Corey Lee trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Dubon, the lead runner out at second. McCormick on at first with two down. Two on, two outs. He swings and fouls one off. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. And now it's three and two. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Foul off again. And it remains three and two. Up the middle. Torres handles to first. And he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job now there, back. stepping up to the challenge. Tough pitch of the at bat, okay. and he finally put it in play for the oh, knock. Okay. It's got to be frustrating on the mound when you can't put a hitter away like that. That hits the dirt. Two balls and a strike. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. 2-2 two, two down. And downstairs. Two outs. Bases are full. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. And it's off the top of the wall. Across is the runner from first. And it's 4 nothing. Into third as the triple clears the bases. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. And a pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Back to work. 3-2 now. And down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. Back here in Houston. On to the third inning. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Next offering misses. Full count now. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. All around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization, who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. The next pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. Riding to the plate. Swings through that one out front that time. Here's a 2-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Two outs. Base is empty. Now it's Matt Carpenter. He struck out swinging at his first at bat.
Next pitch inside. And now three and two. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And it's a one, two, three inning. Set for the bottom of the third. And stepping in for the Astros, Kyle Tucker. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. Here comes a pitch. Towards first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And Tucker is retired. And now it's Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman. The pitch. On the ground, out to short. And that one finds its way through. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. And let Miss Diaz now stays alive. The 2-2. Ripped to third and caught. Man at first. Here's Guriel. The first baseman, number 10, Yulieski. Guriel. The pitch. In the air, center field. Hicks is there for it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Back here at Minute Maid Park. Out of the fourth, Labor Torres up to hit. Looking at Torres, have to say, he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. Well, no question about it. His future is very bright. The city, the organization, both are excited about him. He has a lot to look forward to. Right-hander kicks deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. Righty delivers. And now it's filled up. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. And that one is lifted in the air. Fakes the catch, and there's one gone. Here's Aaron Hicks. First time up, he reached out of one single. Aaron Hicks. Left hand batter waits. And a ball Three, evens two, the count. Two. Popped up. Bregman gets under it. Puts it away for the out. And now the catcher comes up to the him. Catcher, Jose Trevino. Jose Trevino. The wind of the pitch. That one drilled left field. Back there. And it's gone! His first homer of the year, and they close the gap. It's 4-1. So two away with nobody on. Marwin Gonzalez stepping in now for the Yankees. The that's next ball. offering misses. And that's ball two. The count is two and one. And that one sliced foul. And the righty deals. And that one almost got him. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. 3-2 on the way. This one high in the air to left center. Diaz should have this one. Brings it in for the third out.
bottom four. And now the DH, Mauricio Dubon. In the air, out towards right center. Gallo makes a move towards the gap. Pulls it in on the run. And there's one down. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Next offering is downstairs. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make... This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Gone! Chaz McCormick muscles one out, and they add a run. It's 5-1. So one out, nobody on. So next up for Houston, Corey Lee. Reached on an infield single his first time. Next one misses, and that's ball three. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Oh, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on the it's team, you're going to take that pitch because okay. you still have one oh, more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Here's a 1-1. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Tag. Out at second. Next offering misses. Now two and two. Next one in the dirt. And here it comes. And that's ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. The one-two. Up the middle. And a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. New pitcher on here, number 92. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. So at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and we need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. So two on with two away. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. At the belt and fires. Strike two. Next offering is foul back. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. And the pitch. In the air out to center. Hicks makes the grab, and that is the inning. And Tucker is retired. And the inning is over. Now on the bump, Brandon Bielak. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Back here at the ballpark, and now it's Joey Gallo. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. On the ground right side, in time to Guriel. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. The 2-1. Foul ball. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Next offering is foul back. Out to short. On to first. And the first two set down at the top of the fifth. So two down now, and here is Anthony Rizzo. Anthony. 
Rizzo. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. That one fouled off. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. And that extends the inning. Well, he really had to battle for that one. Man, that was so fun to watch. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Aaron Judge at the plate. To second, Altuve. That's the third out. And welcome back. Here's Alex Bregman. The lefty ready and a 1 1. On the ground to short. Over to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Let me see as now. now this is a guy Let who's in the line of first oh, and foremost man. because of what he yeah. contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. LeMayhew under it, and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. Now it's Yuli Gurriel. The first baseman, number 10, Yulieski. Gurriel. Two down, nobody on. And it is two and one. The pitch. This ball's chopped on the ground to first, and that'll do it. Back here in Houston, top six. Now it's going to be Matt Carpenter. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes, but down. A wide to kick the pitch. On the ground, right side. Tosses the first. Lead off man retired in the sixth. Here is now the young phenom, the Labor Torres. Labor Torres. Here's a 1 1. And that one fouled off. One, two now. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And there's two gone following the strikeout. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that junk. Aaron. Now here's Aaron Hicks. One for two. Bounce to the left side. Breckman sends it to first. That ends the frame. Back here in Houston. Now it's the DH, Mauricio Dubon. The 1 1. Ball. Try to get him to chase on the changeup that time. And a pitch. And there's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Dubon around third. Now a relay to the plate. Not in time. He scores. It's 6-1.
Well done. Drives in the run. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it. And, man, he wasn't fooled at all. And now here is Corey Lee. Takes it in for the out. We'll say Altuve up to it here. Up next to the Astros, the second baseman, Jose Altuve. And now the lefty. Ground ball right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And the batter now, Jeremy Pena. The pitch. Popped up first base side. Grabs it on the run. And there's two away. And next to hit for Houston, Kyle Tucker. Up next for the Astros. McCormick on third. Altuve at first. Two out of the inning. Next pitch misses. And the count two and one. Kicks and deals. And meanwhile, that pitch is off the catcher's mitt. It squirts away. And now a single might score two. Base hit, one run in already. He's in there. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Nice line drive to the full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. A new arm into the game, the righty, Albert Abreu. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. And here now is the Astros cleanup hitter, Alex Bregman. Abreu checks the runner. Tucker dives back in. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the inning. Back here at Minute Maid Park. We go to the top of the seventh and stepping in for the Yankees, Jose Trevino. The wind and the pitch. Base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now, Marwin Gonzalez pulls it in for the out. Race to the bag, but he's safe. Good job to avoid the double play. Man at first, and next for New York, Joey Gallo. The pitch. That one lifted to left. Diaz makes the catch. That's out number two. Here's DJ LeMayhew. Now batting, third baseman. DJ LeMayhew. 2 2 now. Rips one to right. Bounces over the wall in foul ground, and it's an automatic double. And up next for New York, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. Here's a 1 1. Swings through that one. One Trevino at third. LeMayhew on at second with two down. And he deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Out to short. In time to Guriel. Rizzo out of the play. And that is the third out of the inning. With the traditional seventh inning stretch. Welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. And now Oledmis Diaz. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. One ball. Sometimes a hitter will go up there and guess, and it's not just 
pulling something out of the sky but expecting because of tendencies a certain pitch in a certain location he just guessed wrong Gonzalez fires over to first and the leadoff hitter now set down to open the, the seventh Yuli Gurriel up next for the Astros right hander kicks deals got him two out two outs base is empty next is the designated hitter Mauricio Dubon two outs that one inside and that's ball two Boog he never moved because he never had time to but that kind of velocity you'd prefer that pitcher work away next offering is foul back On the ground, right side, collected by Torres, inning over. Back here at the ballpark, it's Aaron Judge now. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Next pitch has popped up. Altuve makes the catch and there's one down. Well that's what he's looking for with the fastball above the zone a swing and miss or weak contact. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter Matt Carpenter. Fought off foul. Look out that ball was smoked. Man I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. And a swing and a miss. Now two out. Here's Glaber Torres. Second baseman. Glaber Torres. Next one is off the plate. Two and one. Right handed reliever. That one misses. Three and one now. The pitch. Fouls one away and now three and two. Swing and a bouncer. On the run, throw to first. Third out. And welcome back out of the bottom of the eighth and stepping in is the speedy Chaz McCormick. Here comes a pitch. Falling nope. behind two and one. Nope. Righty to the plate. And a good eye there. Well he's so great about hitting the ball the other way he gets those arms extended so right there just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And he walked it. Corey Lee up next for the Astros. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively but runs pretty well so when you're looking at that position you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed but he does righty delivers on the ground to third dive and he's got it LeMayhew to second now to first and it's a double play. The back. The second baseman, Jose Altuve. So the Houston lineup turns over. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. The 2 1. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Next pitch just misses, and that's ball three. Kicks and fires. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And it's off the wall but foul. And the righty deals. 
And there's ball four. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. And a pitch. That one missed. And it's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. That's a tough one to swallow right there if you're on the mound. You're ahead in the count 0-2, and you just couldn't find a way to put him away. It's going to be frustrating if that one comes back to bite him. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. And Tucker is retired. And that is that. Ryan Stanek into the game and a healthy size lead for him to go to work with. Number 45, Ron Stanek. All set to start the ninth in this one. Taryn Hicks now. And a 1 1. Just missed. The 2 1. And he grounds one back up the middle, and there's a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Tucker pulls that one down. And there's one away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the now process. He did everything right, right there. Oh, Nothing man. to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Left hand batter waits, and that one got a piece of him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. Joey Gallo. Two on, one out. Way high. <laughs> Left hand hitter waits. Three, two now. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Swing and a miss, and he struck him yeah, out. Wow. And That's he's down on strikes DJ. for the second time today. The 1-1. One, one. They say it went. And a one two. And another ball. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. McCormick in position. He pulls it down. Ball game. And the Astros take this one in a blowout. Clearly, the bats came to play today, and the pitching and defense as well. We saw some outstanding plays. Great performances all the way around. Just one run allowed. They never gave the other side a chance. And this one finishes with a final of 8-1. to one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.